On today's Techno Babble, what's a compressor and do you need one? This is Tech No Babble, your weekly source for church video and graphics news, perspectives, tips, and tricks. And now here's your host, Paul Clifford. Hi, and welcome again to another episode of Techno Babble. This is the show where every week we talk about using video and graphic design in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host. I'd love for you to answer your question, by the way. So if you have one, just leave it below the video. And I have an entire show dedicated to questions and answers that I answer every Friday. So look for that every Friday, right where you're watching this. You can find it there as well. Or if you're listening to the audio, maybe you ought to subscribe to the other audio feed because there's more good stuff from Trinity Digital Media and me. So go ahead and subscribe there. So I have just gotten in a cool piece of equipment. It's called a compressor limiter gate. Now, I admit there are much better compressor limiter gates than the one that I bought, but I bought the value version because I was thinking of churches and what they could... No, I just didn't have any money. Um, the truth is I wanted to get the cheapest one I could. That, that's it. Um, I know that a DBX drive rack would be a better choice than the Behringer that I got, but you do with what you can do with. So with that in mind, I thought I'd talk about this piece of gear and why I bought it and what you would use it for in your church. So first off, if you've got a digital board, chances are a digital audio board, chances are you can add a compressor to each and every channel if you want it to. They're all virtual, there's no separate equipment to buy. But the thing is that when you're in a small setup, say just a few microphones, just a few instruments, something like that, where you can't really spring for a digital mixing console, then perhaps in that case, you would want something with outboard effects because most uh, analog boards just don't come with a lot of effects. The board I bought, also a Behringer, does come with some, uh, but mostly they're useless to me. A lot of reverbs. A whole lot of reverbs, and as you can notice, I'm not using reverb. So that is um, just one of the reasons why you get an outboard unit like this. Plus, it's you have the flexibility that you can take it and use it in situations like I'm using, where you're in a small room. Maybe you've got a few lights around you, one there, one there, and one immediately behind me and a camera right in front of your subject, maybe just a single microphone, and you want to compress the audio. Well, you can do it with a smaller unit like this. So, I've told you why you would do it. You would do this because, you know, you just don't have the capability to do it with a digital mixing board, but what does a comp compressor limiter gate do? Well, let's start with gate. Gate means that it shuts off the sound until it reaches a certain threshold. Now this is great in my situation because sometimes I've got kids in the background, sometimes I've got a fan running, sometimes I'm unfortunately right by the room that has the washer and dryer, and of course my teenage daughter who's in charge of the washing machine and dryer chooses to start them right before I start recording. So it's really great to have a gate to gate off sounds that you don't want. So there's a certain threshold that you can set and anything above that, the machine basically opens the gate so sound can go through. Anything below that, it closes it again. So like the ambient sound, it just closes that right on down. That's the gate function. Compressor compresses the distance from the loudest sound to the quietest sound. So think of sound as a sound wave. You know, it goes up and down. 
Now what if you could take that same amount of sound and compress the distance from the top of the sound wave and the bottom of the sound wave? So really quiet stuff that's kind of less easy to hear gets raised. And really loud stuff that's maybe too loud gets lowered. So that's the compressor side. And you have different settings for different vocals. So I might get better at this the more I use it. But right now I'm doing about a 3 to 1 compression ratio. So um, that's what a compressor is for. Limiter limits the maximum amount of sound. So ideally that would mean that you wouldn't go over your threshold you wouldn't get clipping still working on it could be uh, that it'll get better so compressor compresses the amount of space between the louds and the quiets limiter limits the loud so that it doesn't go too high gate cuts it off below a certain point so that's why i've bought this piece of gear and i hope that it's going to help the sound with this show and my other shows I hope that that helps you, and I hope that now you understand why you would use this. It's kind of like um, having a robot servant that can do the mixing for you. When things get loud, it has quicker reactions than you do, so it can run over to your soundboard real quick and pull it down when it's too loud. Or it can raise it up when it's too quiet. And it can do that much faster than your fingers can move and more accurately, so that's why. If you like this content, don't hesitate to subscribe to my email newsletter, which I send out every week with more tips and tricks like this. So go on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S, and there you can sign up for the email newsletter and get some free church tech gifts. Um, speaking of resources, if you're in the market for some resources, please head over to my store as well, trinitydigitalmedia.com slash store, and there you can buy resources that I've created especially for you, the ch church technical artist, with you in mind, hoping that you can be more effective in your ministry, hoping that you can be more efficient in your ministry so that you can do it more quickly and spend more time with people, whether they're your family or uh, people that you're doing ministry with. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com.